good morning good morning good morning good morning to all souls good morning I had a message I put up last night but I want to go back into that message because this is something that needs to be addressed like a lot and why I say it needs to be addressed a lot. Because many people returns back into these portals. Because they think that they're going to lose something, they're going to miss something, or they're going to stop something. First of all, you can't stop a demon from being a demon truth be told you cannot stop a demon from being a demon and I mean spiritually speaking like real real talk you cannot stop demons from doing what demons do demons come to steal kill and destroy we know this this is this is something we cannot change this is something we cannot take away from a demon but we can draw nigh to Father Yah. We can respect and bring forth respect for our Lord and Savior, Yahusha, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. We can acknowledge that He did go on that cross for us. And died for our sins. And for the ones that got his precious spirit. The Holy Spirit that teaches you all things. Man don't teach you nothing. Only thing man teach you is what they've been tampered with. That came from a demon. That's all man can teach you. Man can't teach you nothing else. Because man needs to be taught. We as souls, we need to be taught and not taught by each other, but by the spirit that Father Yah gives us because he found us worthy to have it. Not man telling us we're worthy to have it, but Father Yah telling us we're worthy to have it. And if you are a true child of our father, you would know, you would never forget the experience of the baptism of the spiritual world. See, like you get baptized with water, there's a, a way you get baptized with water. You know that you went and got baptized. That goes for being baptized by the Holy Spirit. Oh, you will know when you truly get baptized by the Spirit. And that's what I try to address to many people. Many people want to be chosen, but literally you're not chosen until you get baptized by the Holy Spirit. And that baptism is something severe. It's not an easy baptism. I'd rather take the water baptism than I took the Holy Spirit. But guess what? It's over and done with now. I, it, it happened, and now I'm walking in my purpose. Now, walking in your purpose is not easy. So when you got somebody that's telling you that go and strive for your purpose, walking in your purpose and your spiritual purpose is not easy. You have a calling on your life, a very high calling that's going to lead you into a very high destiny. But getting to that destination is not going to be easy. See, many people think, I even thought that a destiny was easy because I never had to really actually fight for a destiny. Actually, I was doing a lot of fighting spiritually with demons my whole entire life. Everybody that was connected to me, I had to literally fight them spiritually. Didn't know I was fighting them spiritually but I was fighting them spiritually. Well, a lot of people said, I'm chosen, I'm chosen, I'm chosen, I'm chosen. 
tell them to tell you their experience of being chosen. What woke them up? Not just one day you wake up and you come across a video and you see a lot of people talking chosen. That's not how I was chosen. I was chosen when Satan and his demonic friends through humanity that was connected to me, they literally, I mean, whipped me. They whipped me. And we're not swimming today. We're breaking. We, we're literally having a swimming class. Because you need strength to swim. Swimming literally in the physical world, you work all your body muscles. Everything got to go. Swimming, they say, is a very, very talented sport. Because you got to work all your body muscles. And you got to tread water. You got to... But I love to watch ones that swim. They, they really, I, I give them, you know, up so But we today we just having a spiritual swimming chit chat. No swimming. We just having our feet in the water and we just kicking the water. Just feeling the water and just embracing it. But spiritually, it is tough. Many people think it's so easy you know like oh that person made it there people don't realize when you are true when you are a true chosen one the backlash that we receive from demons through that soul it is traumatizing at times and especially when you don't understand. And when you don't understand the purpose of a demon or demons, the purpose of Satan is to stop many from overcoming darkness. And he really do freeze up many from overcoming darkness because many are still sitting in darkness. They don't want to put that work in they don't want to fight and fuss with the ones that they think love them. They don't want to turn their backs on the one that, on the ones that's so toxic. And see, those ones that they got to turn their back on is actually their mothers, their fathers, their sisters, their brothers, their children, their spouses, girlfriend, boyfriend. As y'all, you know, many have boyfriend and girlfriends. I, I, I had boyfriends. I had a husband. I had actually two husbands, but the second husband, he was just only for a get back reason. It wasn't, he wanted to marry. I didn't want to marry. I didn't want to marry someone that burned me so, so bad. You know what I'm saying? And what I mean by burn me so bad, hurt me to my heart. So we didn't even, when we got married, we didn't even stay married long. We didn't. We just didn't stay very long. Eight months tops. Because I wasn't in it for that reason, anyways. But he thought that he could pull me back in that portal, and we was gonna start from square one. But see, I always tell people when you get a fresh piece of paper, that paper is fresh and flat. When you crumble that paper up. And you, and you stretch the paper back out, that paper will never be the same. That paper got cracks, dents, maybe got little um, tears in it. You can iron it. You can do whatever you want to do with it. That paper will never go back to its fresh, smooth self again. And that's how it is with our souls, our spirits. When somebody breaks us up in such and when someone breaks us up in many pieces and see like in my situation I was broken from childhood so being broken from childhood so I never had a childhood where I had my little bicycles I had little birthday parties you know I never had my mom walking me in prom I never all that extra I ain't never had that didn't even know my father but it's still 
did not make me become bitter towards other people. Actually, I love people even the more. The only ones I start becoming bitter to is to the ones that knew better. The ones that knew better should have done better. But see, when demons are activated in these souls inner selves them demons takes over those demons takes over them so you're no longer dealing with your mama you're no longer dealing with your daddy you're no longer dealing with your sister or brother you're no longer dealing with yourself because don't leave yourself out when i open my when i allow myself to walk in that open portal where those demons had that door open for me when I decide to walk in that open portal and they close that door on me, it was a fight. They made me feel so extra good. Come on in this portal. Come on. It's fun. It's nice. It's sweet. It's your fantasy. It's your everything. You vulnerable. You burned out. You don't want to fight no more. You just saying, okay, this is my, this is my, this is my goal. This is my ticket to go. But actually, it's your ticket to die. See, that's why discernment is very needed in this world today because many people looks at certain people in a certain way but see we can discern the spirits on the people so when we see what people see when we see differently than other people see it's because we have the precious gift of the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit helps us discern we're not here to tear down anyone. We're actually here to help people see or get to the light. It's not going to be easy getting to the light. I'm going to tell you that right now. But guess what? It's worth working on. It's worth going for. It's worth giving it a try and try. I don't care if you fail. Try again. I don't care if you fail. Try again. I don't care if you fail. Try again. And every time you fail, get into a repentance. Get into a prayer life. Start reading the word of God. The word of God is not tampered with. It's only tampered for the people that's rebellious still. People that's still caught up in that portal. You know when a person is caught up in a portal because they'll, they'll try to badmouth our father word, which that is unacceptable to me because then that lets me know you still connected you still dipping and dodging in a in a portal. See, a lot of people don't like the true correction. A lot of people don't like the true chastisement. A lot of people don't like to be told what to do because they've been through so much. You can't tell me. See, when you become so rebellious to Father Yah, that's that's gonna be kind of hard to deal with you. Because you don't want to put your position in listening, being corrected. Because, see, you're still, you know, sneaking back and forth with Satan. So you're going to wear what you're doing. And a lot of people don't understand just because people got money, just because people got a name in this world. That's in this world. This world is perishable. This world is going to fade. That person that you looking up to, that person that you're idling, that person that you run into to get you through your life journey, that person you run into might be a demon because a true person that is full of light is going to tell you to go read the word, to go pray, to go talk to Father Yah. Because that person that you're running to ain't going to always be available. But see, Father Yah is always available. He always ready to fix and change your soul. But it got to be up to that soul that want to be fixed and changed. A lot of people don't really want to be molded over again. They just want to get a patch me up. I don't want to be torn down and build back up. No, they just want you to get them little patches. Just, just patch that hole up. Just just patch it up for a while but guess what eventually that patch gonna have to be replaced then again that patch gonna have to be replaced then you have to repatch that place again and then sooner or later that patch ain't even gonna be able to work 
because that hole is gonna grow and see that's what Satan got a lot of people doing repatching yourselves and repatching yourselves eventually in times in, in time going forward it's not gonna be no more good it's not gonna be healthy excuse me it's not gonna be healthy at all it's not gonna be healthy you're gonna be done for and then the, the, the hole gonna grow so rapidly you ain't even gonna be able to patch it up you gonna have no other choice but to fix it or condemn it it's only gonna be one or two choices but I um, had a, a chapter in Job. I was in Job last night. I love Job. I love the whole word. A lot of people, you know, you, they, they're Hebrews. And that's cool. I mean, that's good they got that type of knowledge. I, I don't knock that. I, I applaud them. I salute them. But I'm just still in my English. I learned a little bit of Hebrew. But I got so much on my plate that I'm trying to accomplish I got to stick to where I'm at first. I can't jump no more guns right now. I got to stick to where I'm at right now. And I love where I'm at. Because I'm in peace. Trust me, I'm in a lot of peace. And Job 9. 1. Then Job answered and said, I know it is so of a truth. But how should man be just with God? We can't be just with our Father, Yah. How can we be just with Father, Yah? Then if we just with Father, Yah, then... Father Yah can't be Father Yah. Father Yah is all powerful. He's almighty. We cannot defeat that. How can we defeat the Creator? Impossible. If He were contend with Him, if He were contend with Him, He cannot answer Him one of a thousand. He is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who have hardened Himself against Him and have prospered which removeth the mountains and they know not which overturneth them in his anger with shaking the earth of her place and the pillars thereof tremble which commandeth the sun and it raised not and sealeth up the stars which alone spreadeth out the heavens and try and trotteth upon the waves of the sea treadeth I'm sorry treadeth upon the waves of the sea how can we defeat him how can we defeat him he tells the sun when to come down he tells the moon when to shine only thing science do is predict when this is happening science, scientists can't command it to happen but scientists can predict and that's the difference in, in predicting and having control over. There's the, there's, it's, it's, there's so many ways in life that it's so foolish, the things that man say. Man that is attached to demon, and I'm talking man or woman, mankind, because we came from the rib of man, so we are included in mankind. One mind, one man man men you get what i'm saying we got the woe added on to us to man woe man who came up with that idea the father everything that's in this world was created by the father just to counterfeit that dark one and dark ones they try to do things in an image perspective to try to have control over in an image that is perishable it's vanity everything in this earth is vanity even the flesh suits we got on is vanity we see it all the time when someone died when a loved one died guess what that flesh got to go but that spirit is going up out of that flesh now the flesh cannot move anymore it can't be activated because what activate the flesh has got pulled out of the meat suit that's just how it is in this world and it's time now that people take heed to what they are doing how you moving stop listening to all these demons speak because all these demons are speaking is nothing but vanity images they have no control the only reason why they are in control is because mankind is allowing them to control because mankind is living in this 
prison in your own womb. You you're you are actually in prison. Nobody have the freedom that they desire. They want the freedom. They speak about the freedom, but they won't make actions on the freedom. You all are just stuck in a prison, in a bubble spiritually. I ain't validating. I'm not getting no validation from no man or no woman. If I don't understand something, I go and drop down on my knees and I speak to Father Yah in, in secret. That's why I work alone. I live alone. I sleep alone. Yeah, I do social media not to entertain me, but to find others as myself. Because I can connect to them spiritually. I don't have to be physically touching them. I can literally connect to them spiritually because I'm very sensitive in spirit because due to the Holy Spirit. So I can feel somebody energy a mile away. You can be thousands and thousands of miles away, but it's just the energy. I can connect with people on on this platform here and I can feel that and I can pick up their energy because it's a spiritual battle. It's not a physical fleshly battle. It's only physical when you start hurting each other due to the flesh but competing with materialistic things with financial things that is nothing that is just childish which demons are what childish we can't stop demons for who they are but we sure can stop demons from trying to make us the way they are you can definitely stop that but blessings and peace to many of you i love each and every one of you it's time to get into your inner self and kill out the outer self because it's not the outer self is what is the value the inner self is the value once you understand that you can do more better but until then i love you all peace and blessings to each and every one of you much love